So today you might notice that I am actually inside and not outside. Now you can praise my background in all of its glory. Go on, go. Oh wait, it's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I know. <coughs> so today I wanted to talk about public transportation. Since I go to school in a neighboring city, I have to take the train a lot. There's the subway, the metro, the tube, or what we around here call BART. Basically, public transportation just brings out the worst of people. So we'll start from the beginning of the BART experience. You've finally gotten your ticket after collecting up all your quarters because you only had a 20 and you only had to pay $5 round trip ticket. So you make your way onto the platform and wait for about 10 minutes. So you're just standing there practicing your whistle technique until the train finally pulls in and then out of nowhere some dude walks right in front of you and cuts in line kind of like he's saying oh well, I just thought I could go in front of you go in front of you and all the people who are courteously standing behind you because there's no line in BART okay let me tell you there are no lines in BART but if you're on the platform and you see one person who is close to the train and then a whole bunch of other people behind that person and they're in a descending order according to proximity of the train then it's kind of like a line and you shouldn't cut that line. Okay, but whatever, no big deal. Someone cuts you in line, whatever. But when the doors open, there's a whole crowd of people on the other side of the doors who are all trying to get out of the train. So then you've got like Mr. Macho standing in front of everyone and then he just pushes his way through the crowd. And then once the first person goes past, humans are like lemmings. So then everyone else who was on the platform is trying to crowd their way onto the train. And you can always tell that the people who are trying to get off the train are really annoying. You can just see them, they're kind of like, what? Why don't you people move so I can get off my train? I just want to get off my train. See, let me explain myself. The reason that I was standing kind of away from the train door was so that I could give the people who were coming off the train enough room so that they could get off. But you, because you cut me in line, you freaked everyone out behind me. And then all the people on the train who want to get off can't get off. Alright, so we're finally on the train and you're looking around for a seat and there's always that one horrible person who has their backpack or bag or whatever on the window seat and then they're sitting on the aisle seat to make sure that no one can walk by and ask for the seat to sit down because them and their bag just really need two spots. So if it's during rush hour, which is usually when I have to go on BART, then everyone will be packed and you'll probably have to stand. So standing on BART is a little tricky because you have one of two options. You could either find a wall to lean on so that you aren't shaking around, or you can use one of the like hangy things on the top. I guess in cars they're called god handles, so maybe on BART they're called god straps. So even though you have walls to lean on and god straps up above, there's always that one person, usually a powerful businesswoman, who decides that they are going to stand and balance on the train without holding on to anything. Okay, do what you want. So they're not going to stand and do nothing, and just like focus on balancing. They always have to multitask. So they'll either be reading a book while balancing, fiddling with their phone while balancing. Ugh, I'm so good at balancing. I can do anything that I want, but then I can still balance. All right, but the thing is, the main objective is to look cool, right? Look like they're in control. But you can't balance and look cool at the same time. So if you just want to balance on Bart, you would assume a pose like this. Balancing fine, no problem, no problem. Ooh, stretch, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Ooh, you can try to throw me this way, it won't work. You can go that way, it won't work either. Either way, whatever, I'm balancing master. But if you want to try to balance while looking cool, then you're going to look like this. Ooh, okay, yeah, cool, I go. Keep reading, keep reading. Oh, okay, okay. I can do this. I can do this. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, this train is so shaky. Okay, okay. Oh, act cool. No one saw that. Yeah, okay. Now you just look like an uncoordinated stupid person. Good job. So in short, I fear for the future. People who ride on BART should learn to be more considerate about other people. Also, I already picked the punishment for Caroline and Alex, and I sent it to Caroline on Facebook, but she hasn't responded yet. 
which to me says that she's a little intimidated <laughs> by the punishment that I chose. So we'll see how that works out. Either that or they're already working hard on it and they just want it to be a complete surprise. So.